This video is brought to you in partnership with First Detachment Nutrition. Use discount code CIF10 to save 10%. The Anvil is a powerlifting slash strongman gym with that hardcore environment that you'd expect from a gym like this. We love the atmosphere. We got a chance to meet Cody, one of the owners. Great guy. The equipment, while we wouldn't say it was an overabundance amount of equipment, almost all of it was from Ghost Strength. The gym was originally started by Tim Gristle before he sold Ghost and the gym. So you know it's all really high-end stuff. The gym split up into three different parts, so we didn't love the organization. But outside of that, we thought it was an amazing gym. Check it out and check out these photos. had a very friendly atmosphere. The members were very nice. The staff, especially Becca, who we spoke to ahead of time, were very friendly and helpful. It was more friendly of an environment than a hardcore environment. That's what a lot of people are looking for. The equipment variety was what you'd expect from your standard mid-size to small fitness center. Not a huge variety, but good enough to get in a good solid workout. The organization was, we really liked because it was organized a little bit more by body part, like a bodybuilding gym than by manufacturer like most fitness centers. Um, we really like the gym overall and I hope you enjoy these photos. Solid is pretty small and feels very much like a private studio or private bodybuilding gym. Uh, because it's a, pri a bodybuilding gym, it has a really good atmosphere that's kind of a little hardcore feeling when you're in there. The equipment, because it's small, um, there's not an overabundance amount of equipment, but they did have some pretty unique pieces that we really liked. The organization um, could have been a little bit better but it wasn't awful. You could easily find everything there. Um, overall, not a bad gym. So I hope you enjoy these pictures of it. Thrive Fitness. It was a smaller gym that felt even smaller because of the amount of space that was dedicated to group fitness, boxing, and other things like that. So the equipment variety wasn't quite what we were hoping for, but they did have some pretty cool and unique pieces that you might not find in other gyms this size. The atmosphere was pretty cool. They had a lot of motivational things painted around the gym. We liked that, but the gym was mostly empty when we were there, so we can't really comment on what the members are like or and the staff person was just a teenager that we didn't really get a chance to, to talk too much. The organization um, was decent, about the same as any other fitness center. So I hope you enjoy these photos. Top Shape Gym in North Liberty had an above average amount of equipment, including a full line of techno gym equipment, which is really nice and we've used that at other gyms. The atmosphere was sort of a mix between a young crowd vibe and more of a higher end crowd fitness center. The, it, the gym had, was set up with like layers, kind of like stadium seating, so that kind of messed up the organization and everything was you had to walk down the layers to get to the different rows. So we weren't big fans of that, but otherwise it was a nice facility. Check out these photos.
Brick House is a fitness center outside of Des Moines. It's a fitness center, but it's actually the closest thing that we found to a legit bodybuilding gym in the Des Moines area. It had a pretty good variety of equipment. The atmosphere was pretty good. The members that we spoke to seemed to really like the gym. The staff was really nice. The organization was by body part. So it was a really nice gym. We really liked it. Um, come check out these photos. Ivy Fitness, it is owned by the grocery store chain, but this is the only one that they own. It is a low-key, friendly, relaxed environment. The members are very nice. The manager, Jessica, is super helpful and friendly. The equipment is mostly plate, mostly stack loaded and not over abundant amount of equipment. The whole place really seems like it's set up for more of a mature crowd. There's no loud music or anything like that. The organization was pretty good. Um, overall, it seems like a convenient place to work out and not a, not a bad place to get in a decent workout. Big House Gym. This is actually a smaller fitness center that also has a small variety of equipment. We only found a couple of um, stack plate loaded pieces of equipment. Almost everything in the gym was stack loaded, which gave it kind of a corporate feel. You could tell the owners were trying to amp up the atmosphere with some murals on the wall, but they really couldn't overwhelm the lack of equipment and that what that gave it as a corporate feel. The organization was okay, not great. The members that we spoke to said they liked it because of the lack of crowding. They said the big corporate gyms in the area had gotten so overcrowded they felt like they couldn't even work out there. So they had switched to this gym. Check out these photos. <laughs> DSM Barbell. This is truly a badass place. It's a hardcore bodybuilding gym. Jake, the owner we got to meet, he's created a great environment. You can tell all the members are really into being a part of the family. They love the environment. They have a pretty good variety of equipment for a powerlifting gym. I mean, it's not a bodybuilding gym, but they have plenty of stuff to do accessories. The organization, I wouldn't say it's amazing, but you can easily find everything that you're gonna need there. Um, overall, I love this gym. You can see uh, some videos and pictures of it. It's pretty cool. Check it out. As always, if you like this review, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.